Yo, this is Angel Hayes. You're watching Hot New Hip Hop, and I'm about to break down the lines from my song, On Fire. Man, I swear to God, I almost lost my mind. For real. I left with all the pieces I could find and fill. I, like, as a person, have been through so many different things and have sort of shape-shifted my way through life. Um, so much so that I couldn't really tell you, like, who's up here or what goes on up there, except, I don't know, tragedies and shit, it's weird. Um, and so basically when I realized I was a fuck up, I ran as far as I could, <laughs> uh, but you can't run away from yourself. It's dark now outside, but it's dark in my mind. I lost all that I love at the same fucking time and the pressure to be with the pressure to climb left me broken in places too desolate to find. It's hard to explain loss in a way that people get and, and like, don't fucking think you're complaining about, you know? Like, I have a little sister I haven't seen in like four years. You know, I've got like, I got a lot of shit, you know, that like prevents me from being like, you know, happy and fucking consistent and like whatever. And so I end up doing stupid shit and like running myself into the ground. And then I want to be something so fucking bad that like, you know, competing with the angst and the pain and all the other shit, I just tend to sort of drown out all my ambition. And then I crack. Cause there's a lot of expectations when you when you rap like I do, man. <laughs> there's a lot. It's weird. Nigga, my brain is a cage. It's a place with a beast that I'm battling late. Man, it's a rap. I relax in my rage like a bat, like a rat in a trap or a cave. Yo, my thoughts all go black. They get trapped on a page. Then reality comes like a slap to the face. Cause I'm dying to be, man. I'm dying to stay while I'm finally free while I'm flying away. And that just basically means I want to escape. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty evident. Um, I don't know, I sort of yearn for this world wherein everybody has the complete and total freedom to be who they are. And unapologetically so, and to go through the motions and to, and to, and to just feel how the fuck they feel. And, you know, we're all colors on, 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 I don't know, life's palette. And this record, you know, to me was a lot about like nature and shit and learning to appreciate like the fact that these things like trees and stars and the sky and the wind and the rain and all that shit can coexist peacefully and learn to work for each other, all whilst being different, completely, completely different things. And I'm so fascinated by it. And so like most of the time I spend wanting to kill myself so I can escape to this world I've created in my brain where like everything works together and, and my colors all show and I'm like, at fucking peace, but like I'm wild and creative and imaginative and like crazy and shit. And that's what it means to fly away to me, you know, to get out, to break out of it, like just pop through the sky and just be somewhere different. They don't want one though, won't let me soil yo. Told them before though, told them before though. I feel like a lot of people underestimate like my abilities or my intentions or my passions or my whatever, cause I'm docile and I'm quiet. And I'm, I mean, I just, I just chill. <laughs> But like, I will really fuck some shit up. Like that's, that's just the whole reality of it. That's what that means. Like I will fuck your whole world up if you come for what I love because this is all I got, yo. Like music is all I got, being me is all I have. And so anybody who poses a threat to who I am, I want you dead immediately. And I, I won't stop <laughs> until you are, basically. How you throw dirt on a seed not expect it to grow, yo? I think that's dope. When I was in the studio, I, was out. I think I was a little bit drunk when I was freestyling this verse um, and my homie was out and I like was like, yo, I want to do something where I take it and I just like fucking go for it. And we kept trying all these different takes and shit and, and trying to figure out what I wanted to say. And then I just closed my eyes and went for it. And like when that line came out, I was a little bit surprised because you really don't know how your, your, your brain and your passions and like just who you are built what goes on inside your brain, even subconsciously. Um, and so I thought it was dope how you throw dirt on a scene not expect it to grow. Like, if you think about it, I've been through so much shit. You know what I'm saying? You tried to put me under, you know? You tried to, like, you, fuck it, they, you know? Um, but you can't. You can't bury a seed and then, like, cover it in rain and then let the sun shine again and not expect me to shoot up and be a motherfucking flower. Like, in my brain, I'm a whole fucking garden now, you know? Like, I think that's dope. Man, we come from the dirt, ain't no shining just in photos. For real. I don't want to live a life on fire and nothing to show for it. For real. 
If suffering makes a God, then let me know more of it. I feel like all of that is self-explanatory. Nobody wants to live on fire and not get credit for burning forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to burn, you better be the best motherfucker burning. You better be burning man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to burn so deep that, like, I'm fucking California at this point. You know <laughs> Like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I think that in order to understand what it means to be a god you got to go through things and you got to understand altruism and you got to understand that everything in life is a fucking stepping stone up to the place you know what i'm saying it's pillars and i'm just trying to get up there and reach him and take that nigga down i'm sorry too real